I tend to rely on GitHub's browser interface whenever I'm creating PRs, merging them, viewing them, that sort of thing. Um, but lately, I've been taking a look at the gh command utility, which is a CLI that GitHub has put together that allows you to do all sorts of things. Um, you can look at PR status. You can look at issues, um, a lot of different things that you can do in the browser. You can do from the command line using this gh plugin, which you can install with Brew. So I just want to take a quick look at how I can use that to create a PR, view the PR, and even merge the PR. So uh, I've got some changes here, and I'm going to stage them. Yep, just that one line. So I'll say yes and accept that. And I will create a commit change default port to 444. OK, I've now got a commit on this branch. And what happens if I say gh? PR list, there are no open pull requests. And that's what I was expecting. I've only created the commit here locally. Um, I can push up my changes from here. And now that creates the branch on the remote, but I still don't have a PR created. And I can see that by saying uh, git PR view and it's going to tell me no pull requests found for this branch. And that's that's helpful information. That just tells me that I need to say PR. And I can actually tab out to see what the options are. And it is create that I'm looking for. So I'll do create, and it'll open up this prompt and walk me through. And I actually like that title as is, so I'm going to accept that. Um, let's see. Do I want to launch NVIM to enter uh, a body? No, I'll just hit enter to skip. I like that as it is. And then what I want to do, so I guess we could continue to the browser if we wanted to then make some other changes or like assign some uh, reviewers, that sort of thing. But I'm just going to submit as is. And now this is a link that I could click through to view it in the browser as well. But I can view it here by saying get P ghpr view. And it'll show me the title. It'll say it's still open. And then, um, yeah, it lets me know any other information about it. I didn't provide a description, so there's not a whole lot more to show. Um, but again, this tells me kind of the, the status that it's in. Although I can also do get PR, GHPR status to list the status of it. I can see um, actually all the different uh, PRs that I'm working with right now. And it turns out that this is the current branch one, which is still open. And then it also lets me know any that I've created. And it's just this one as well. So now um, I'm feeling pretty good about that PR. There's not a whole lot more that needs to be done with it. Um, this is just a, a personal repo, so I don't need to go through any sort of, you, you know, back and forth with another contributor to see if, if they approve the PR. So I'm going to go ahead and say GHPR and tab that out. and. I have an option here to merge. So let's see, merge, and let's even pull up the help. So you can include the dash dash help with any sort of command and subcommand combination, and it'll display some details here. Um, yeah, there's some flags we can provide if we want to delete the local remote branches after merge, um, if we want to specify which of which type of merge it does. But we'll see that if I do ghpr merge, it'll actually prompt me for those things. So create a merge commit, rebase and merge, or squash and merge. Um, I prefer to, oops, I filtered it out. I prefer to rebase and merge. So I'll choose that. And something that I am noticing here is it provides these three options. But if I jump back over here and I look at the details for this repository, I actually disabled the allow merge commits option, but it seems like that's just a configuration for the github.com interface and not for the GHCLI. So just something to note that um, these settings here won't necessarily apply to what you're saying in here. So I'm going to do a rebase merge, and then it also asks me 
what I was looking at with this flag here, which is do you want to delete the branch locally and on GitHub? And I'm going to say just hit enter to accept the uppercase one, which is no, because I don't want to delete the branch locally at the moment. And then do I want to submit it? Uh, yes. So submit it, takes a second, rebased and merge the pull request five. And so if I go back and do PR status, I can now see that this was merged and that I don't have any open pull requests anymore. So that's kind of the flow for using uh, GH. There's a lot more to it, so you can do um, GH help to see all of the commands that are available. Um, yeah, have some fun with it. See, see what's possible. See how it fits into your workflow. You'll definitely still have to jump into the browser from time to time to do a lot of the, you know, sort of extraneous uh, pieces of maintaining a project, but um, it's nice to be able to do some of this from the terminal. That's it for this video. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, leave any comments if you have questions, and I will see you next time.